welcome to ECLE Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is area of a circle. We are going to be looking at the area of a segment. So we will see what a segment is and then what is the formula that we use uh, in calculating the area of a segment. So a segment is a portion of a circle which is cut off by a straight line not passing through the center. So you can see if we take a straight line and this straight line you can see is not passing through the center. It forms a segment. We have the minor segment and then we have the major segment. So the, the line AB is usually this line that we have is cutting through this circle is usually referred to as a chord. And if you look at what we were discussing before on the area of a, of a sector, remember we saw that there is this area down here. This is now the area that we are mentioning in this case. So the segment uh, that has a small uh, semicircle is the minor, and then the bigger one is the major. So if we were to, to look at how do we calculate the area of the segment, it means we need to get the area of the whole sector as we did in the previous videos and then we subtract from the area of the uh, triangle and then we are left with this small uh, segment. That applies the case of even the bigger uh, major sector. So in that case then, if we were to look for the, the major like segment, like if we had this case, it means that we have to look for the the moment we get the area of the smaller segment and we subtract the area the area of the circle minus the area of the small segment we are left with your major segment so we are going to get an opportunity to do a few questions uh, in regards to how we apply this formula so let's let's get to do that so remember the area of the segment this shaded region is going to be the area of the minor sector the minor sector is what we did in the previous lesson minus the area of the of the triangle so the area of the sector we said is the angle over 360 by r squared and then the area of the triangle is a half base times height so let's do a question together so in this figure a circular with a center o and radius 5 so we have the radius if on is 3 centimeters and ab is 8 centimeters calculate and angle a will be is 106.3 find the area of the shaded region so we said the area of the shaded region is going to be the area of the sector minus the area of triangle so the area of the sector is going to be the angle over 360 per r squared minus the area of the triangle is a half base times height. Remember there are different ways to calculate the area of a triangle depending on the triangle that you have. But in this case, we are going to use a half base times height because we have the base and we have the height. So the angle which you have been given is 106.3 over 360. Our pi we will take 22 over 7. And our radius, we have been told, is 5 centimeters. So times 5, times 5. We put this uh, in a bracket, minus a half. Our base of the triangle is 8, and our height is 3. This gives us 106.3 times 22, times 5, times 5 over 360 times 7 minus so the half by 2 1 by 2 4 so 4 times 3 so let's do this together 106.3 times 22 times 5 times 5 gives us 58,465 over 360 times 7 is equals to 2520, which is minus 
12, which is 4 times 3. So this is the same as 58,465 divided by 2,520 gives us 23.20 minus 12. So 23.20 minus 12 gives us 11.2. And this is going to be centimeter squared. Hope you have been able to see how we did that. So let's do another example. So a chord x, y of length 12 so is drawn in a circle with center O and radius 10. So calculate ON. So you start with ON, basically the height of a triangle. So it looks like this. This is 10, this is 10. This is 12, so this is going to be 6, 6, because this is equilateral. This uh, perpendicular bisector bisects the line x, y equally. So if we were to look for the value of on, we are going to use Pythagoras theorem, which is going to be x squared plus 6 squared is equals to the hypotenuse, which is 10 squared. This is the same as x squared is equals to 10 squared minus 6 squared, which is equals to 100 minus 36. So x squared is going to be 100 minus 36, which gives us 64. So if you do the square root of both sides, you're going to get the value of x as 8. So this is going to be 8. So the second is the area of the sector. O, X, P, Y. For us to get the area of the sector, we need to know this angle. And for us to get that angle, then we need to use trigonometric ratios. So we already have the height, we have the base, we have the hypotenuse. So we can use any, we can use tan, we can use cos or, or sine, but it's going to end up giving us the same angle. So if you want to get this angle up here, Let's say, for example, we use um, we can use opposite of hypotenuse is sine, so we can use sine angle, which is opposite in this case is going to be six over hypotenuse, which is ten. So this is the same as the sine of that angle is equals to zero point six. So we are going to check that out in the mathematical table. So you need to get out your mathematical table for this part. So when we check out our mathematical table inside the natural signs, we will notice we get 0 0.59990. And this is going to, when you move at the value of x, it's going to be 36. And the 0 0.5990 is at 0.8. And this is the difference because 0 0.59990 and we want 0 0.6000, uh, zero. this difference is 10. When you go across in the last um, column and we get that difference, which is 10, it's up to 0.7. So this is 7. So our angle is going to be 36.87. But remember, this is just for this small angle. So we need for the whole, so we multiply this by 2, which gives us 36.87 times 2 to form 73.74 degrees. So that's how we are, we are able to get the angle and we have been able to answer that uh, question. But we have not finished the question because it told us to calculate the area of the sector. We know that the area of the sector is the angle over 360 times pi r squared. So this is the same as 73.74 over 360 times 22 over 7 times our r is equals to 10 times 10. So this is the same as 73.74 times 22 times 10 times 10, which gives us 1 62,228 divided by 2,520. 
So if you divide 162,228 divided by 2,520, we get 64.376 centimeters square. So we have answered the second part of the question. The third is find the area of triangle OXY. So OXY is going to be a half base times height, which is a half. Our base, we have already been given, which is 12. Our height, which we calculated, is 8. So by 2, 1, by 2, 6. So this gives us 6 times 8, which is the same as 48 centimeters squared. So the area of the minor sector is going to be the area of the sector, which we calculated as B, minus the area of the triangle, which is our what we have just calculated. So let's do that difference. So it's going to be 64.376 minus 48. So 64.376 minus 48 gives us 16. 0.376 centimeter square and finally the major sector we said for us to get the major sector we we'll take the minor sector minus the area of the triangle the the circle and the area of the circle is by r squared which is the same as 22 over 7 times 10 times 10 which gives us so 22 times 10 times 10 is 2,200, which you divide by 7 to give us 314.286. So you take 314.286 minus 16.376, because that is the, uh, the area of the minor sector, 16.376. And the difference will give us 297.91 centimeters square. So that's how we are supposed to work it out, that question. So that brings us to the end. So this is a very common question, especially in our paper two uh, exams. So make sure you get your some time to look at more questions. Uh, in the app and also more notes in the app so that you can be able to practice and be able to understand the concept. So that brings us to the end. See you in the next lesson.